Amen. It's the ISO God Sensei, the greatest name on 2K in existence. I'm gonna be giving y'all the best jump shots in NBA 2K25 for every height, every position, every archetype, every play style, every rating, so you could be a shot creating God. It's gonna be the most important video that you watch because if you learn how to shoot better than 70% of the community, I have had enough, okay? As y'all can see, this jump shot might look a little weird to you. I've had enough. Before we get into all that, and make sure y'all share this with a friend who can't shoot. P.S. None of your friends can shoot. <laughs> Before we get into all these jump shots and the best tips, y'all be sure to like the video and subscribe. It helps Young Swan grow. Hit the like button. Hit it to 500 likes in a day. Come on, boy. <laughs> look, I've had enough, guys. Mike Wang's playing God, shooting worse after the patch. I've had enough. I've tested it out. I'm shooting more consistent with it. Guys, the worse you are or the more tired you are with the game, tick that damn release speed down, okay? And test it out. See how you play with it. I know people, guys, most of your shots are going to be. That's just how it works. You can hit your open shots. You're going to be Gucci. Nobody's shooting pocket shots, especially if you're watching this video. And even then, dog, you got to be playing versus top tier competition, bro. Test it out, man. I'm trying to tell you, man. And let me know. Okay, I might just change your whole reality, man. So if you miss it, tick that hole down or pick one of these jump shots. Tick that hole down. Yeah. You see what it looked like? It's smooth, you know? That's already been confirmed firm that the slower you make your jump shot the bigger the green window is and it's easier to hit your damn animation now look bro, i put the release bro i've had enough i'm done dog i'm done look it's still an a i mean even though the grades don't really mean everything but guys you know i've had enough i'm so serious test it out you will be surprised i'm not gonna hold you dog you will be surprised i've always told y'all every year turn down your speed but i've never went this hard with it okay mike wayne is really trying to play god i don't think he thought of this okay so this could get you your groove back look we got the Kyrie. Right. We got it ticked down. It's on the slow. Okay. I'm telling you, bro. Now, with all these jump shots, I really did test them. Okay. The KPJ that I'm going to show y'all, it seems the most consistent out of all of them. But I got that super slow. Okay. Patty Mills is horrible. But I'm going to show you one that I somewhat started to hit with a little bit. But I don't I don't know how, bro, that, that jump shot is horrible, bro. I don't know what's going on. I keep, I, I miss with that. But yeah, Kyrie a top tier. Cam a top tier. It's probably the most popular jump shot overall. On Iverson's nice too. I would say Kyrie's probably above the normal jump shots. I would say Kyrie's the best overall for the normal jumpers. And then I prefer Allen Iverson over. I've had enough. This is a nice jump shot, guys. I be hitting with it, man. I be hitting with it. You have to unlock this jumper though. Okay, you got to be starter four, I believe. Here's another alternate reality. This is probably my favorite release speed. I'm, I'm telling you. That whole be going in, man. I like it more than Patty Mills. And look, even this one is shootable. I didn't really like this one too much compared to the other two, but th this one is still one of them ones. I'm telling you. Hey, I've had enough. I don't know about y'all, but Patty Mills, this is the only one I recommend, period. I don't care. I don't care what people say. <laughs> Dog, there's something wrong with the shooting, bro. I played with a 2K league player using a 99.3. Patty Mills, he missed damn near every shot, dog. You feel me? So if you want to rock Patty, do this, man. Now look, the Culver. Look, hey, I slowed down. down. It's one of the top tier jump shots. Probably a jump shot y'all should be recommended to people who can't shoot that 6'5 plus. Poppers, tall guards, all that. You know, it's a baby T-Mac. The Allen Iverson, a baby T-Mac too. Trust and believe. Here's another great jump shot for 6'5 plus. Hey, I'm telling you. I'm telling you, bro. I'm really putting y'all on. This one real good. This one real good. Now, this jump shot right here is real good. Look, but it, it already start to slow, so I ain't take it down, right? And I was hitting with it like this, so hey, telling you, it's, it's one of them. Scotty Pippen, top tier jump shot. You ain't gotta go too slow to get it ticked down you feel me here's another great jump shot overall i don't think no one uses it but like i tried it and i made like every shot very strange i don't know so test it out man i would say this and the ray allen actually feel the best overall for a six five plus hey 
trying to tell you now 610 plus here's a great jump shirt a jumper jonathan isaac consistent easy to hit with crazy high release height you already gonna be crazy tall great jump david robinson for you npcs that make low jump shots look guys don't ma ever make an inside center if you play with randoms please stop you're ruining the game for everybody this jump shot's pretty good especially for this rating okay you're not comfortable with it you could turn up the speed but you're gonna be open and you got good release height hey telling you this whole be green it, it be going in turn on them damn post notice man check out my rec videos he's basically saying that normal risk is better than high risk overall y'all test it out y'all let me know how y'all feel about it i think he was saying like i think he was saying like if you shoot in 70s or 80s or whatever stay on high risk which like nobody does it was some uh high number like that or i think he was saying 65 plus i, I don't i don't remember but he was saying if you if you don't go normal and that's basically 2k25 with mike wayne playing guys you get better percent at the normal now look i went and shot on normal bro i was shooting greens I, I didn't make no whites but uh it felt normal i was making them huh? felt like i could still you know see he's saying i, I presume you shoot 61 plus high risk zero percent to this normal risk that's kind of crazy that can help you more with your missed time shots now he tested out low risk he's saying basically if you shoot zero between 21 percent do low risk like if you some foreigner or something i don't know man y'all let me know if any of y'all use uh low risk or if you're just lagging all the time you just get more greens overall so maybe this could be a method to make more shots man if you got a low three and you a rhythm shooter I guess just rhythm shoot, man, and uh, use normal wrist. This test was done on normal wrist, pretty sure. He did another test, okay, normal wrist, and with a 95 three-point rating and rhythm shooting, you make more whites. But, um, you know, they said there's a skill gap to rhythm shooting. <laughs> Y'all let me know how y'all feel about these findings, man. There's a lethal hot zone glitch. They done already nerfed it in the new patch. This Chad guy posted posted it. And this is basically what he doing, right? You know, he give you a little tutorial. Now look, they made it easier, so you probably don't need to do it. And also there's another finesse glitch. If you don't get your hot zones, um, and you go to lethal, even without getting your red spots, if you go and get the hot spots, right? And you just go shoot up, shoot versus him off rip, he will shoot worse. I don't know if it, that's how it is after the patch. Y'all also let me know y'all's experience versus lethal after the patch because they said they nerfed him. Very good because you had to shoot nine out of 10 in this damn RNG shooting. It's ridiculous. But in this hot zone glitch, man, they saying all you gotta do is join, pick three spots, quit. And then also after you get your red spots, all you gotta do is go shoot in the like lethal percents and then they will actually turn purple later on that is what a lot of people say but he's saying quit as soon as it starts then close app join new park and repeat and he said that's how you get his hot spots y'all let me know a lot of people said it actually works i don't know if it works after patch it was this done on the patch i don't think so but they made it easier man so I, I don't know some people are too lazy to actually do it so maybe that can help look here the here the my career method real quick right Look, bro, all you're going to want to do is put the game mode on rookie, right? And then you're just going to catch and shoot and shoot right over them. Go to your spot that you want the hot spots, put it on five minute quarters, or you can put it on whatever minutes you want and you can get all your hot spots. Do not play online until you get your hot spots. Every three point zone, get your hot spots. Look, it's very simple, man. You don't even got to dribble. You don't got to do nothing. Just look, just shoot it. Green, and you could just keep doing that. You can stay down there, look, just shoot. It don't matter, it's on rookie. They're not gonna contest you. Even if you go down there, just shoot the ball. Shoot, 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 shoot. Get your hot spots, though. Same with the midi, you could do a screen fade. Get your hot spots, okay? Tell your friends also, don't play online unless you get your hot spots. I would say over 60, 70% of the community doesn't have their hot spots and they're playing online. Bro. Get your hot spots, bro. Get your lethals, man. It's just lazy, bro. It's so important. So 2K Tuts did another video. You know, 2K should actually be showing y'all this. And he shows you the damn release points in this hole. You know, this is when you should be releasing it for jump off of what he's saying. This is when you should be releasing it from set point. And this is when you should be releasing it from push and then release is right here i prefer release 
Now look, 2K Lab put out a video, you know, with a modded controllers testing out button versus rhythm shooting. And you can see rhythm shooting is way better. I mean, if you can get that in your game and throw it in every now and then, do it. You have way less room for error, a, you know, bigger green window. And yeah, even with the normal, you can miss time it and make it sometimes. So it's kind of crazy. Now, even in my other videos, I've been telling y'all about set shot specialists, right? 2K Lab did a video, right? Basically, make sure you get this at least gold in some way, either with your max plus one or getting the 89 midi or three point, and you will be able to shoot much easier. You should only have it with these. You're some type of god, right? And you're really trying to tap into something else. But if, you know, there's a lot of lag latency, you want to deal with less of that, you got to be gold plus, okay? He's saying this is the benefit you're going to see if you invest more into it and all this and that. This is the badge y'all need. It's not just spot ups. Um, any shot that's not fading, it pops up, okay? You stop and shoot. Here's the limitless range. Y'all want to invest in it, but uh, you should be playing on a monitor, okay? I know it sounds dumb, but there's a lot of old heads in this world. Y'all got to share this video. You need to be playing on a monitor with all games. There's a delay. You're playing on some big 60 inch. There's a delay. It might look better or whatever, but it's a bigger delay. You need to be playing on a monitor like the BenQ, ASIC, what a ASIC whatever it's called, okay? You need to be playing on a monitor. I think I switched in like 2K18 or something. You know, I was still a god at shooting back then, but I don't know, but y'all are even more more delayed on a super del delayed game secondly very this is very important very, bro, it's so important that i can't even explain you need to be making sure that you are ethernet cable from your playstation into your route that is fundamental to playing online games or you're going to be delayed you're going to get way more lag spikes etc need the ethernet cable there are super long ones you have to get it if your mama don't want you to do it or whatever you're gonna have to find a way to get your own internet in your room you have to do it okay or you will um be very unhappy now you don't gotta hardwire your controller there's actually videos out there saying you get less of a delay with your controller unplugged for the ps5 for some you can look it up yourself ps4 wasn't like that i'm pretty sure but for some reason for the ps5 if you play without it plugged in you get less delay i don't know but one thing for sure that i want to tell y'all is make sure you always play either without your controller plugged in or with your controller plugged in because they're two different delays it's just like when, when you play in the rec versus the park they're two different lag delays latencies and lag spikes when you do it with you're adding a different factor so when your controllers start to die you plug it in you're gonna notice that it, it just seemed different or you're just starting to miss but but trigger effect this is very important please guys please send this video to your friends when i play with randoms especially the old heads dog that you hear it you hear it bro that's all you hear in their controller <laughs> bro you can't play like that it's disrupting you okay this is okay but the, the trigger effect is in <laughs> bro you gotta you know you got something tripping in your hand bro how can you play you know just when dribble it's gonna it's gonna intimidate you you're gonna mess up your shots it's turn it off guys okay now look your shot timing profile put it here okay either here or here you can start off here this description it says similar to previous 2k's but according to 2k uh 2k lab chart that's not true because that doesn't represent those 2k's or i don't i don't know okay now look bro 2k makes it to where you have to have shooting boost to be able to shoot consistent i know it costs vc but if you want to shoot as good as you can you gotta buy the uh the shooting boost bro that that's just how it is and it gotta do with your gatorade so make sure you're doing your gatorade drills and all that man and i think you even get a discount unless they took it out this year but gotta have jump shot boost and some form of gatorade so you know you have a bigger stamina meter and all this and that while you're moving around you shoot the ball hey you don't need all of them but you need some of them especially if you're a guard they make you pay to play to uh be consistent in the game if you can manage without it rock with it but that's just how it be now secondly before you play online okay this is very important you want to get your hot spots hit them through the my career 12 minutes lowest difficult right or i'm gonna show you all these courts now look to get your hot zones pretty easy you're gonna want to go to the temple or the dooms okay look let me show you wait hold on where where that where that the dooms okay dooms or it's right here okay or you could do the my career lowest difficulty y'all let me know which is easiest so far look right here you got the board these people 
this is where you're going to do it at, man. Definitely need to get this badge, Max, to be able to shoot consistently online, man. A lot of your shots are going to be with this badge. And a lot of your shots are going to be with this badge, too. You need to get this up. Art of Shooting Gym, this is where you're going to want to go to get your purples. Get your reds first. Get your red hot zones first. You're going to go in here. It looked clean. It looked clean. I don't know if it's just because it's new or what. It looked clean to me. Feel me? You know, you know what? We don't. We don't look kind of clean. But make sure you learn your shot before you actually attempt this. I hear the Gatorade Drills closing app is patched. Someone let me know down below. I don't know. Because y'all know if you mess up, you could close app. I don't know if you could close app on this. Like if you, you're starting to mess up. So, you know, figure that out. Let 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 me know so I can let everybody else know. So, you know, we can have more fun on the game. Now, of course, you want to have no shot meter. You get a 20% boost to your green window. That's what they say. It's way easier to shoot without it. Just do it. I don't care. It don't help you guys. Just do it, bro. Trust me. Now, look. Some people in previous 2Ks, you know, y'all know having all this stuff on and off. Look, you could take off a lot of stuff. The green release animations, you could take it all off. If you know, some people believe that adds latency and lag to your player, you know, so you could take off a lot of these things. No ball trail. A lot of people shoot way better without the ball trail. So, you know, you can have this type of stuff off, even when it comes to the feedback. Some people have it off. I always keep it on, but some people turn this off and they say they shoot better. So, if you're really struggling or you're really delayed or laggy, and you know, you I mean, you could test this out, see if it helped, but you know, that's just a method. Anywho, click the video on the screen if you want the best settings in NBA 2K25 to be a, uh, a dribble hot. But hey, hey, here we go again. Yeah. Here, here we go again. People talking this, but when this hit the fan, everything I'm that made me. Now break it down. Yo, off the top of the dome. dome.